everyone. I'm Assistant Prof. Dr. Gil Pierre from the Department of Public Health at Near East University. I would like to share with you today one of our interns' projects, which was done last year. The study was about assessing cesarean section rates at one of the biggest state hospitals in Northern Cyprus by using 10 group Robson classification system. Cesarean section is a life-saving surgical intervention that can effectively prevent maternal and infant's mortality and morbidity if medically justified. Just like the other surgical procedures, cesarean section increases the risk of short and long-term complications for woman and child. Short-term complications such as likelihood of requiring a blood transfusion, the risk of anesthesia complications, organ injury, infections, and, and so on. As long-term complications, CS would increase the risk of asthma and obesity in children, and also complications in subsequent pregnancies for women. CS is strongly recommended to be done under some circumstances that are medically indicated and proven to be beneficial to the woman and child. Those indications are baby in bridge position, mother has some uh, sexually transmitted infections such as active genital herpes or HIV, problems with placenta, previous CS delivery, multiple fetuses, mother has some health problems like has uh, heart disease or diabetes, problems with uh, umbilical cord, stalled labor or prolonged labor, and sometimes baby's developmental problems will lead to CS. Those are the medically indicated conditions for CS is strongly recommended to be done under some circumstances that are medically indicated and proven to be beneficial to the woman and child. Those indications are baby in bridge position, mother has some uh, sexually transmitted infections such as active genital herpes or HIV, problems with placenta, previous CS delivery, multiple fetuses. However, CS rate is increasing globally with growing inequalities in access. There is continuous increase in unnecessary cesarean sections in developed regions and it was predicted that by 2030 it would exceed 30 to 40 percent in developed countries as shown in the graphic. However, C-section was underused in least developed countries which was below 10 percent in 2020. As mentioned earlier, C-section may be required to protect the woman and the baby's health in medically indicated circumstances. Underuse of C-section contributes to increased maternal and prenatal mortality and morbidity. According to the According to WHO, C-section rates higher than 10% were not associated with reductions in rates of maternal and newborn mortality at population level. The map has shown the clearer picture on the current situation regarding CS rates around the world. As we can see, CS rate was very high in most high and middle income countries, which were highlighted in yellow color on the map. However, most of the countries in Africa had very low CS rates, which were below 10%, in some countries even below 5%. There are multidimensional factors driving the increase in unnecessary cesarean sections globally. Those factors include the increase in the prevalence of maternal obesity, increase in proportion of nulliparous women, increase in maternal age at birth, and also the increase of multiple births. In addition to those factors, many other factors also play important role in this pattern, such as fear of pain, fear of medical litigation by the doctors or clinicians, organizational factors, financial incentives, and also other social cultural factors. 
In 2015, WHO recommended to use the Robson classification system for assessing, monitoring, and comparing CS rates within healthcare facilities over time and also between facilities. The Robson classification is for all women who deliver at a specific setting. It can be hospital or region, and not only for women who deliver by CS. It's a complete prenatal classification. Since this system can be used prospectively and its categories are totally inclusive and mutually exclusive, every woman who is admitted for delivery can be immediately classified based on six basic characteristics which are usually routinely collected by obstetric care providers worldwide. Those uh, characteristics are parity, previous CS, onset of labor, number of fetuses, gestational age, preterm or term, fetal lie or presentations, whether it's a cephalic, breach or transverse. The Robson classification system uses these six parameters to classify women into one of ten Robson groups. Each woman only can be classified in one group and the CS rate in each group is calculated based on the total number of women who undergone CS and total number of women who delivered in that health facility during a specific period. There are a few reasons why we conducted this study. There is no official data or government statistics reported regarding CS rates. There was no study conducted to evaluate and monitor CS rates using Robson classification system. And there is lack of information regarding the quality of data and obstetric population in any health facilities in Northern Cyprus. By conducting the study, we attempt to analyze CS rates using Robson classification system and also to assess the quality of data and obstetric population at the state hospital. The study was conducted in Nicosia City, which was the most populous district in Northern Cyprus with about 100,000 population. We selected Dr. Burhan Nanbandolo State Hospital as it's the biggest state hospital that provides services to over 110,000 people yearly. We obtained official permissions from the hospital administration to review the medical records of the patients from gynecology and obstetric departments in 2019. A total of 896 women delivered during 2019 and 97 of them were excluded as the information regarding the delivery mood was missing, which reflected poor record keeping practices in this hospital. A total of 799 medical records were screened and necessary information were extracted using a data collection form. 101 records were excluded due to the missing information on one or more of the six obstetric variables that we needed to classify. These cases were categorized as unclassifiable cases. Data related to six parameters were entered into Microsoft Excel and calculated according to the Robson classification report table. As a result, we found that the overall CS rate was 43%. If we have a look at the specific groups in this table, group 5, 10, 8, and 2B were the groups with the highest contributions to all births, with absolute contributions of 21.8%, 10.9%, 3.9% and 3.7% respectively. Interestingly, there is no CS performed in group 1 and group 3, which was totally different from the findings in other studies. In order to understand which groups had higher contribution to the total CS rate, we used the parietal diagram concept as well. It uses a cutoff value of 80% in the cumulative distribution curve to analyze the Robson groups based on 80-20 rules related to the increase in CS rates. The Pareto diagram illustrates that CS rates in group 5, 3, 10, 4, and 2 comprised of 83% of 
the woman who had CS in the hospital during 2019. The overall CS rate in the state hospital was substantially higher than the recommended CS rate, which was 10 to 15 percent. The rate was higher than the rates in 150 countries reported by the WHO. Study provided insights on the CS rate in each group, which helped to un help us to understand the obstetric population in this hospital. The high proportion of unclassifiable cases highlighted the substandard quality of obstetric data. It indicated that the practice in medical record keeping needs to be improved. High relative CS rates in group 5, 8, and 10 were most probably contributed to the high CS rates overall in this hospital and appropriate interventions focusing on these groups before or during the labor could effectively reduce the overall CS rates. There was no CS performed to any women delivered in group 1 and 3 even though the size of the two groups constituted of 30% of total obstetric population in the study. This might be the reflection of good, timely interventions to support the normal deliveries at the hospital. Induction of labor was performed to 1 in 5 deliveries, and none of these indu induced labor was ended with CS, which indicated a higher success rate in inductions. However, detailed information regarding the inductions, whether it's medically indicated or elective, and the gestational age for inductions was not provided in the medical records. And there are some limitations to the study need to be mentioned. The retrospective study design, which restricted to the medical records from a single hospital with a relatively small sample size, might limit the reliability and generalizability of the study findings. As summary, there are a few key takeaways that I would like to highlight at the end of my presentation. The study is the first of its kind to provide a snapshot regarding the CS rates and obstetric population in Northern Cyprus by using the Robson classification system. Further nationwide studies for assessing the CS rates are needed and the implementation of the Robson classification system is strongly recommended. Specific training should be provided for health professionals to implement Robson classification in clinical practice to improve the quality of data and monitor CS rates at the country level. These are the references that I used for my presentation. Thank you for listening. <laughs>